when artists speak, they simultaneously are using imagery, right? We're translating everything we do in our minds visually. It's an automatic, we don't even think about it. It became really clear to me that I needed to work with a moving image, right? There's a several sequences that take place underwater, and there's just no, there was no other way of representing that. I'm Juana Valdez. Uh, I was born in Cuba, and I came with my family to the United States in 1971 through the Freedom Flights. The exhibition is Rest Ashore. The idea was always to do a video in which there would be no physical bodies in the video. I wanted the viewer who walked into the space to feel like they were occupying that space, that sort of sensation that they were part of this experience. As a Cuban, I know what it means to migrate by sea because we have been, as a community, experiencing this for the last 50 years. And so I wanted to use that personal experience and that knowledge and that understanding, and I wanted to take that and then uh, open it up to the greater global crisis that is happening, and especially that started to happen in, the, in 2015 in Europe because of the Syrian refugees. When we think of migration right now, we, we imagine people in third world countries coming to America or even to Europe for escaping poverty, sometimes war, famine, but we are experiencing the pandemic right now. They have made, like if you were in some cities, uh, people have chosen to leave the city and go to the country. So the whole idea also partly with the video and not having an individual be represented in the video, what's to deal with that, that and it, due to climate change or due to some other uh, situation, any one of us at any particular time right now could or would be forced to migrate. And when you first enter the space is you sort of dealing with the history of what you are about to encounter. The very first thing you encounter is a wall of pallets. So you really don't know what you're entering. And in that way, it kind of gets a little bit menacing. And it was done intentionally because it was meant to give you the sensation that maybe you were entering the back of a shipyard, right? And what it would be like if you were gonna be taking this kind of risky journey. You go from being a person to also being thought of as cargo and as a package, right? And here, you're seeing the contemporary artwork. The video takes you from one day in the life almost. The journey begins and it takes you through the whole process of what would happen if maybe there was a capsize. The video ends very slowly with a sort of small view that then enlarged itself or what seems like countless numbers of clothing that have washed up on the shore. Then slowly but surely, the video begins to expand and move up and you see the ocean again and then the sun set and you hear the motor almost very far in the distance uh, and the journey begins again. At Locust Projects, we're a place of yes for artists. So we let artists really realize their wildest dreams, most ambitious ideas. We're really unique in the Miami arts ecosystem in that way. We commission artists to create these large-scale site-specific installations. So you'll never see these exhibitions in another place, only here at Locust while they're on view. They're typically immersive. And we really give artists the opportunity to experiment in new media with new ideas. In our 2020-21 season, we're focusing on Miami women artists and turning the space over to them. So we've seen in this season, Christina Peterson, who was able to realize a project she had been wanting to do for more than 10 years, which was to create a cemetery to, to cover the floors with pine needles and to fill the room with the sounds of the song called In the Pines and actual tombstones that memorialized really important figures from South Florida's history, but also memorialized the creatures that have been lost due to development in the pine rocklands of the Everglades. 
In the case of Juana Valdez, again, you're really seeing Locust Project's mission in motion. This is the first time that Juana has had the opportunity to work in video. And here she's doing it in massive, large scale. Artists, in order to have careers, have to have exhibitions. And that's where Locust Projects comes in. A lot of artists will have their very first exhibition at Locust, and more established artists will be able to do something they weren't able to do before.